Time now for the Friend Zone. We invite on someone from inside the building here at Fox. A lot of interesting people here, and so it's nice to talk to them. Tonight we're joined by one of the most interesting, our national security correspondent, Jennifer Griffin. She covers the Pentagon and was very close by when the calls were made to bomb Bashar al-Assad and unleash our largest non-nuclear bomb on ISIS <laughs> just last night. Um, so what was that like? You're there, and how do you find out? Well, so exactly a week ago was the Syrian strike, yes. and we were there working all day, and our sources started, we were actually pursuing a story about the location where we thought uh, Bashar Assad was storing his chemical weapons, and so we were pursuing this based on some intelligence sources, and then we started asking around the Pentagon, and they said, wait a minute, why do you know this base? And it became very clear that something was afoot, that there was probably going to be a military strike, and we did not want to give away any operational details so we actually had to hold our reporting and in the process you start bartering with your sources and we found out that the strike was going to happen at 845 Eastern now we couldn't go with that you wouldn't want to uh, report it beforehand and we actually ended up being second because we held it just enough because we had to get the second source but we knew it was at 845 <laughs> I'm aware because I was on the air right? and tossed to you no, that was that right. was frustrating what's cool about your life is that you've lived and been in so many of these places that are in the news you can I suppose picture them. I mean, you spent a lot of time in Afghanistan yeah. you can picture where these well, fights are taking place. Today was particularly surreal because, of course, uh, we were reporting on this mother of all bombs, which is kind of appropriately named. And it's sort of, when I think of how my day started, um, I, like you, Tucker, I have three kids, and they, I was doing school drop-off, and I knew that I had to get to the Pentagon. I had a live shot. I was late for work. And my son, it was picture day, and he said, Mom, I forgot my tie. And so I was torn between, do I race? Now, we didn't know that the bomb had been dropped at that point but but I knew that we had things to do so I had to turn around go home get the get the school outfit for the school picture and then race into the Pentagon and just as I was getting seated thinking I was doing one story we got word that they had dropped this 21,000 pound bomb in Nangarhar province now what I remember about Nangarhar province is um, uh, first of all when I was 24 years old uh, we lived in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan and my husband decided it was a good idea to take me to Kabul for our honeymoon after we were married in 1993 so back that's a, um, that's a there it is right there that's a guarantee that was your husband I think oh actually that's that's more recent that's um, that's you know um, a couple of years ago with Marty Dempsey General Dempsey the chairman of the Joint Chiefs if you spend your honeymoon Those are my kids. in Kabul, that's a guarantee of an interesting life. Where is that picture, by the way? That's in Alaska. That's in Alaska. But that is 1994 in Kabul, and that is when the Mujahideen were fighting each other, civil war, and we were there uh, trying to figure out what was going on. It was before the Taliban had been formed, and we were there in Islamabad when, um, when the interior minister of Benazir Bhutto's government started going to the madrasas and recruiting for the Taliban. Unbelievable. With <laughs> global consequences, it turned out. Jennifer Griffin, thank you for coming on. Thank you. And I'm, I'm glad you got picture day squared away. <laughs> Thanks, we'll,